What's goody? What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a lot in the store. Let's find out what we got. Alright guys, so today we're going to pick up my buddy Santos. We're going to be taking his car uh, two hours and 30 minutes over to Farmington, New Mexico, uh, where there's on three performers. We're getting his car tuned out, officially tuned out. That way he'll be able to run out all out call out just as well as we're running all out call out. So right now we're filling the truck up fully. I actually want to test out um, the mileage of the truck, uh, not the mileage, but like see how good the truck is towing a car that's heavier than mine just to see like what we're going to be averaging when we want to go to uh indiana and over to uh vandenberg vandenberg over in uh denver colorado so i just wanted to get like a, a estimate to see like where we're going to be sitting at when we tow so let's get this all filled up let's see how much it took 69 dollars we wait a little 10 seconds or so and then we go ahead and fill it up again all right, so 70 bucks even. 70 bucks even. Got the trailer. So let's head over and get my boy Santo. That fucker's tight. Hell yeah. Fucking just suck. Yeah. Get some breakfast burritos. Fucker. All right, so we made it to On Through Dino. Uh, damn. Both of them, bro. Damn, straps came loose in the front. That's dangerous as fuck. Gotta fix that. But shit, we finally here, so let's get up in here. Yeah, the first couple we got, they broke the cranks off. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me grab this real quick. That is sick. I fucking never stop playing with that. Oh, they sell fucking fittings and oil and every fucking thing in here. Jesus. Vibrant clamps? Jesus. I was at race against that heat. So? Yeah, we spun like. Yeah, dude. I, you can tell. I mean, anybody that knows cars can tell. But... You watch that video, you can see it. The cars go. Yeah, dude, I almost yeah. hit them. We yeah. were so close to each other. But he just like. This place is really he cool. Was, uh, he was in 30. Put these bad boys up. We gotta pull that over to the door, so and then we'll just meet them around there on the back. Didn't ever tell y'all we got 20 miles per gallon towing over like 6,000 pounds. Let me go to the trip. So we towed for 186 miles. We got 19.8. My bad. 19.8 miles per gallon for three-hour trip. That's like really good. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> So we ain't, we going inside now? Yeah. I bet. It's the Grinch. I said his car's in his garage. I was just sitting on the pallet.
Just a clean ass Camaro. It's a Malibu? No, oil and engine do not start. <laughs> This thing has to go crazy in the sand dunes. Go. Best looking ones to me. That CRX though way over there. Definitely need that. So we're currently waiting on um, them to settle some stuff in the shop and then move the car, put it on the hub dyno. And then we'll be all ready. Uh, right now, we're just basically just waiting for them they still hooking it up so once they get all hooked up we'll you know show what the car does and everything i was gonna say strapping her on the dyno but like bolting her on yeah bolting her on <laughs> hub dyno them hub dynos are pretty dope <laughs> oh shit zoom in on that shit god damn yeah pretty clean That loud. <laughs> this got loud as fuck out of nowhere too. I was like, God damn. So, I think I had to order that last time. And it's making, it made 17 pounds at 6,000. So it'll probably be like 19 pounds at 6,500. Yeah. I think I sparked a lot. So we'll buy the cat before we go. Do them again? Yeah. You might have to do them a little tighter. What'd you put them at? 28? Uh, 26. 26? 22 maybe? 24. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, 24. So, we're having a problem with the belt jumping off. Um, we tore our whole rib off on one pool, and we're having spark plug blowout. So, you have to probably just tighten up the spark plugs. Yeah, it was way lean. Yeah. About a full point lean. Yeah, I can definitely put them here for sure. Is that a 10 rib balancer? No. It just looks like the balancer is really far forward. I had that problem with my Camaro. There's, there's like two sets of balancers. One of them, there's like a tenth of, of a millimeter that's forward. We took the balancer off, shaved the back of it, pushed it back a tenth, and my belt never did that again. Santos's belt jumped the rib here. It's an eight rib belt. Uh, we got one more rib right here. Um, so we're trying to find another belt to finish out this tune. But so far, we can, so far we can't get the thing done. So uh, hopefully we can find a rib somewhere. I'm thinking like maybe if he calls O'Reilly's, but I think that belt is just a cheap belt. That's the reason why it ripped. So it looks like we have to move on to a Gates belt, get a Gates belt on this car. They did say when he first started the car, the car was lean. Um, it was lean by a whole point. So that means that the car was actually gonna make some jam. So hopefully we can get it all done. He's calling right now to try to figure something out. So they think they could be five more pounds than usual. Yeah, I know. He's worried about it making 16 pounds and he's like, yeah, it made uh 17. <laughs> then he said it should make 19. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn. So, that's, uh, that's close to four digit territory. Yeah, real close. So, we'll see. That's what happens when you own a Corvette, huh? Yeah, unfortunately. You keep jumping belts because you make too much fucking power. So when you make 2,000 horsepower, you jump belts. <laughs> oh, these are nice. The belt covers? Yeah, I never noticed that. We ain't cheap boy. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Santo, so what was, what was up with your uh, spark plugs? What happened? Check gapped them incorrectly. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Alright, so we got the belt on, the plugs are all set, now we just need to tune it, so. Um, Santos misplugged, or misgapped the plugs for the Corvette. So now, we're all good to go, and we're gonna try to get this thing tuned. That way we can head back on our two and a half hour drive back to Albuquerque. Uh, like I said, we're in Farmington at On3 Dino. Uh, not, not On3 Performance, it's On3 Dino. They are two different uh, companies. These guys do modifications on cars as well. I think on three performance does too, but they're in a whole different state. This is on three dyno and they have the wheel dyno. That's why we bring it here. So we're gonna get this thing on the rollers and or we're gonna get this thing on the roll and get it going. Oh, the fastest track hog in New Mexico right here. You said it's gonna make 1600 on blower. And then they're gonna throw maybe like a 200 shot at it. That's fucking insane. I'm still trying to make 800. No, I was like, so that's crazy. This this car is gonna be nice. Now we just need this thing to make a thousand. Oh, chill. <laughs> we'll do 900. Uh, it's definitely gonna make that first pull. Four di four digits off the back. First pull. Nah. You can't control the boost, so it's making <laughs> four digits off the first pull. Spark plug is all good to go. He's still, he's still gonna have to adjust the fuel trim because it. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too bad though. Not too hard. That man had a little belt slip, so it made 200 horsepower. So, got it off. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, see what it does now. Yes. God damn. That thing makes some jam. As long as we keep the belt from not slipping, the car should make a lot of power. So my buddy Santos Corvette, uh, we're having like m like a little bit minute um, issues right now. His belt slipping, and on top of that, we have to get a bigger intercooler for his car because his intake temps are way too high. Uh, once he fixed those two issues, we could probably bring the car back. Um, but those are the two major issues that he's having right now. All right, guys. So as y'all saw, my buddy Santos got his car officially retuned. 
um, we had some problems with the belt snapping and everything so now this thing's all ready to go we're gonna head back to Albuquerque it's a two-hour drive I'm tired we're not gonna fill up we're just gonna fill up once we get back over there um, but we'll see how much gas we use once we get back in Albuquerque I, I'm still wondering like the gas mileage on this truck um, cuz so far it was saying that we was getting let me see 19 let me see if I can zoom into that 19.6 miles per gallon for a three-hour trip and uh, it was 187 miles so that's actually really good compared to like my last truck my last truck towing uh, the same weight trailer with the Honda on it we got like 14 to 12 miles per gallon so it's really good um, right now he's in there grabbing snacks because uh, we was going to stop and eat, but we ended up staying way later than what we were supposed to. So Paige is going to kill me. So now I have to head back, you know, and uh, simp up to her. So I'll catch you on that next video. Peace.